So my name is Jillian Brooks and I'm a local artist in Cumberland. Um, I enjoy painting murals. You may have seen work in town by me. <laughs> this mural represents um, a lot of things actually. Primarily our forest and um, our awareness about kind of its inhabitants. Uh, we have a bee, which a lot of people don't realize that the smallest of creatures can just have the biggest effects. So I wanted to bring awareness to the bee, and not only that, just to do something fun. Have you guys like seen other murals before around? Uh, yeah, the ones that Jillian has done throughout Cumberland. There's one that she did behind the patch. Okay. On that one really good. Yeah, she did one on the way. Uh, are you guys excited to do this project? Yes. Yeah. yeah. What What makes you excited about it? Uh, to see how it's gonna like turn out. Like her sketch was beautiful, and I can't wait to like see how like the whole thing is gonna look. And I guess it'll just like bring the whole school together. What do you think is important to show on the mural? Uh, the quote. Yeah, I think the quote would be good. What's the quote? Be yourself. Be yourself. start with the drawing. So we, we decided as a class um, a few elements. We all agreed on the forest, we all agreed on mountains, and um, some sort of a sun or sunset, and flowers. That was a common theme that everybody chose. So we wanted to make sure that um, we were all on the same page before we began. And once we figured out our design idea, we just got to the, the drawing. We start with all the chalk, we get, get everything in proportion, and then it's like a big coloring book after that. All my music amplifying when I face the sun For real All my love is magnifying when I face the sun I don't know All my music amplifying when I face the sun Picture the day, everybody is one Under the moon, star on the sun So basically you wanna, you wanna dip it in a little bit and then use if you have any kind of side area just use it and just slightly wipe it off on the sides and then kind of dip your paintbrush back in so you got like a little ball of paint on the end. See how that works? With my life so full of debris I await this cavalry my escape with with myself and Sue Loveless from the Community School Society, so we actually wrote a grant proposal for Art Starts and we got the grant. And 
<laughs> partnered with Jillian, who is an artist in our community, and we really admire her work, so we are really excited to bring her in. <laughs> the biggest goal is to bring in someone from the community who's doing something that they're passionate about, and then connecting the students with that actual person. Um, I'm excited about the end product, but I'm also more excited about the collaborating with Jillian and learning from her about her craft and her art. And um, I think that's like what's really exciting. Hi, my name is Sue Loveless, and I'm the executive director for the Cumberland Community School Society. The Community School Society is a registered charity. We've been working in the village of Cumberland for 15 years. Uh, we work in partnership with the school and we believe that schools should exist not in isolation but as part of the broader community. So we work really hard to make that valuable connection between the students in our school and community members. We run a variety of different programs, after school programs, a lunch program and community programs for all ages. And we also help to find the funding for that program. So we applied to Art Starts, our artist in the school's classroom, to receive funding for this project and they generously supported the project. We've also received help from you know local businesses such as Deluxe Painting who donated all of the paint for the project. And so it's just been really great to see that connection that the students are, are getting with working with Jillian, a community member and a local artist. I think it's awesome because the kids had such a say in what it was going to be. I think that the, the honeybee, everybody being concerned about the honeybees, nice. these guys being so concerned about you know, the forest and outside. And I was surprised to see the bee, but I think it's really cool. If you could use one word to describe this mural, what word would it be? Your hands. Colorful? Fabulous. Bright. Colorful. Nice. Nice. Meaningful. No. Colorful. Fun. Colorful. Inspiring. Tragically funny. Nature friendly. Detailed. I think it would be community. Forest. I'm Dave Merritt, I'm the, one of the co-principals of Cumberland Community School. My role is, as one of the principals is trying to coordinate the, the school side of uh, making this happen. It's such a, a cool partnership between the, the Parent Advisory Council, the Cumberland Community School Society and Cumberland Community School itself. So my role was, was both uh, helping organize to uh, find a, a teacher to run this program and organize it and uh, Rachel Black's done a fantastic job of that uh, and as well to uh, both uh, timetable, put it into the actual timetable for the kids so to give them an option and not just an extracurricular option to, to really uh, do a project that benefits not just the school but the, the community. Like a stream of flowing crude sleepwalk inertia.